Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of the Alberta Traditions. Beside me here is my beautiful 2011 Fall Black Bear. It's an incredible uh, life-size mount that Ben at Art of Taxidermy has done for me. I couldn't be any happier with it. I'm, I, I'm stunned. It's a beautiful mount. What, what's something that you enjoyed working on on the bear? Like, what, what special type of material? Well, the, the first thing that I, I always enjoy when, when somebody brings a mountain is uh, as soon as I see that they're, they're asking for life size, that's the best thing. It's just not because it's more expensive, it's just because it's more natural and you can create more with it, you know, you can put more into it and create something that you would see that picture in the wild anyway. And uh, especially about this bear, what I really liked about it was the pitch black coat and thick hair on it that you know as soon as I kind of like got it back from the tanner I thought I can already see it before even I start doing it that it, this is gonna be a fabulous mount because just look at it I mean like these lights are not the best lights to have it shine on the bear as soon as you take it home and put it in your regular setting first of all it's gonna look a lot bigger because this is a huge room and second of all it's gonna be way darker than what it is you got a very silver coat on it right now just because of the lighting i don't know what kind of tungsten or fluorescent light these are but uh, what i really enjoyed about it was just once i sewed it up together and started the, the, the hair and skin were still a little bit wet and i started to you know air dry it and that way on the dark skin on the dark hair it was just just makes me happier get more excited to keep keep the glow on it more so it was just just a qual quality specimen that's what it's all about you know that's what i really enjoy working with it. and uh the rock work turned out pretty good on it and the whole i thought it's going to be uh fitting the form but it, it i had to enlarge it because the bear was slightly bigger than what i expected and uh, but overall it turned out pretty good it was a really good mount well folks there you go this week we're heading up to northern alberta for another myself. black bear hunt this time with my recurve bow okay. sit back and enjoy <laughs> the last couple nights before we drove up here i just couldn't go to sleep i, I just so many things in my head and uh, the anticipation was just mind-boggling as soon as I knew that I was gonna shoot the bear with my recurve bow instead of my rifle uh, I started practicing as much as possible uh, I went I bought an archery target and I also went and practiced at a local range in Calgary oh at like after school almost every day uh, within two weeks of the hunt and before that, it was probably once a week that I went and practiced. And I, I, like I say, I practiced as much as possible uh, so I could prepare for this hunt. When we pulled up to the tree stand, uh, it just pretty much hit me. You know, we're here. This is happening. Um, this is one year almost exactly to the date later than I shot my bear uh, with my rifle the previous year. Um, it it felt it felt amazing to be back and uh, you know get another chance to take another bear please excuse me if you find me
when the bear came out for the first time and I was up in the tree stand, um, he, you know, he came up to, you know, 12, 11, 12 yards away. Uh, and I, I was just trembling. Uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, it was just, you know, I was shaking. It was pretty nerve wracking at first. Uh, you know, it was right there. These bears are extremely, extremely powerful. Um, you know, when we were up there at the tree, uh, you could hear him breathe, and uh, he was, you know, huffing, and it, it, it kind of hit me, you know, if he wanted to, he could make it up this tree in, you know, two seconds, you know, lickety split. Well, it's day two here. We just set up for today. First time using these self-climber tree stands. Totally impressed with them. Just we have way too much gear to haul up and down the tree. That's one thing that we're definitely going to change next time. Just waiting for a couple bears to come out now. It's just after 11 o'clock and a slightly overcast day. Quite a bit cooler than yesterday, which is a good thing. Just ready. Uh, hopefully today won't be as nerve-wracking as yesterday. Got a little scary there when the bears, they were about 10 yards from the tree stands here. It is getting pretty nervous, nerve-wracking up here. So anyway, we're just going to sit and wait and hopefully uh, something will come out shortly here. I punctured the lungs there, so I'm pretty sure he went down just over there. Nice shot, buddy. How's it feel? Oh, still shaking. Look at my leg. I don't know my feet. We waited all day. It just didn't come out, and then now. Thank you. Beauty bear, beauty. Frank, come check him out. Look at the nice bear. Wow, great bear, Braden. Congratulations, son. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, he is a beauty, eh? Yeah. Woo, he's a good size, too. 
Well, it's day two here. We settled into the stand around 11 o'clock this morning. Trevor expected the bear to show up around 2 this afternoon, same time he did the day before. He didn't end up coming out until around 6 this evening. He gave me a perfect, perfect broadside shot. I took him. We had a bit of a tracking job to do. Wasn't really sure what to expect, but we found him, and I am so excited. He's a beautiful bear. Great time up here in northern Alberta. First bear with my recurved bow. Darkness is coming upon us fast now. We've got a lot of work to do yet. So excited.